son said to me, Dad, I've got a spare ticket. You <laughs> said you were always going to come to an away game with me. Come, Why don't you come to the game? And I was like, are you mad? And he said, oh, come on, you'll love it. Honestly, it'll be amazing. And I was like, um, actually, it's not a bad idea. And then the more I thought about it, the more I thought, ah, sod it, I'm going to do it. Why not? I've never been yeah. in there since 1985, I think it was. Um, and then I said, right, I'm in. And he's like, really? Seriously? I said, yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> anyway, he persuaded me and I went, oh, my God, I'm definitely going to do it again. I absolutely mm. loved it. It was like, it was everything. It was chaos, madness, excitement. Um, it was just brilliant. I mean, the, the atmosphere. You must have got deluged with, like, selfies. And... It was all fine. It was all good-natured. I mean, as soon as the game kicked off, uh, there was no one asked for pictures. They just let me stand there and watch the game. But, I mean, I got in there at, I don't know, about quarter past six, and we kicked off at seven. So, for 45 minutes, it was it was a constant line of doing... Doing pictures and then half time came and then it was fifteen minutes of doing pictures, but that's fine. I don't. That's. I mean, yeah. everyone was really respectful and the. I mean, it, it, the, obviously seats there. No one ever sits down. And I said to my son, <laughs> right, well, here's my here's the ticket. Where where are we sitting? He looked at me as if I had two heads. Dad, <laughs> he said to me, no one bloody sits down in the away end. What's up with you? And I said, it's okay. Well, so where's our seat then? He says, you don't even have to sit on. You just get in there. It's fine. You just. <laughs> Stand where you stand. It's like, and of course, with the atmosphere atmosphere being so good, because Newcastle were winning uh, and won, it was just non-stop from the moment the game kicked off to the end of the game. The singing and the passion and everything was just, it was amazing to be part of. You join in the singing because you love a song. A little bit. I mean, did he join in? He started it. What you're about? That's what they started singing as well. They started singing, Shira, Shira, give us a song. I was thinking, shall I start a song or not? Am I going to look a right dickhead here? I bet you sang your own song, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, it was, uh, it was it was great to be a part of. I absolutely loved it. I'm definitely going to do it again. And a decent win as well, which probably uh, made it, didn't it? To go there where, where I thought, yeah, we've got a decent chance of winning at, uh, at Fulham. And I always know there's a great atmosphere there because there's so many... Because that that end behind it, the, the uh, in Craven Cottage, is amazing. Always when Newcastle go there, it's full. So I thought it's a good game to go to. We've got a good chance of winning. Why not? And we did. So it was really special. You mentioned yesterday how it tends to heighten the emotions, and if the referee makes a kind of questionable decision, yeah. etc. <laughs> That's what I did. I was thinking, you know, when the ref makes a, a a poor decision, you can hear all the fans going, "That's." useless and I found myself doing the same to the referee in front of the fans I'm thinking if the cameras are on me now <laughs> it's getting sacked honestly I had to think calm down Al you might get sacked here for a shout at the referee